All right, so a video to talk about the anatomy of a quadratic graph. That means all the different pieces of a quadratic graph and what a quadratic graph looks like and how we can talk about it. Um, and you've seen quadratic graphs before, so that's uh, this is not going to be anything new. We're just going to put some um, good terminology to it. The most basic quadratic is y equals x squared. And if we um, put that into a table of values, we get a table of values that looks like this. All right, so important to note that when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, and it's symmetrical around here. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. When x is equal to negative 1, y is equal to 1. 2, 4, negative 2, 4, 3, 9, negative 3, 9. We sketch it, and it looks like there's our graph. When x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 3, y is 9. And we get what's called a nice parabola. Now, they've already marked a couple of things here. There's an axis of symmetry running through the middle because, like I said, it's symmetrical. And where the quadratic turns around, it's called the vertex, but we don't usually use the word vertex. We usually call it a turning point. It's where the graph turns around. So features of the graph uh, of y equals x squared, this particular quadratic graph, it's called a parabola. Anything with that shape, that's called a parabolic shape. Um, now, this next dot point is a bit wordy, but uh, basically what it says is the y values are always positive. You can see that the graph never drops below the x-axis, so y is negative, never a negative number. So we can say that the range, which we'll talk about another time, the range is 0 all the way up to infinity. Again, we're going to talk about range at another time. All right. The graph is symmetrical around the y-axis. I've already mentioned that. And this line here is called the axis of symmetry. Has a turning point at 0, 0. And the minimum value of y is 0. And it occurs at the turning point. Okay, that's where it turns around when y is equal to 0. All of those features I just talked about are specific to y equals x squared. We can create different quadratics which are going to have different axis of symmetries, uh, different turning points, and different ranges as well. There are three basic ways to express a quadratic equation. Um, you'll remember linear equations are like y equals mx plus c. There's also another way to do it, but y equals mx plus c is what you're used to. Uh, with quadratics, there's three different ways. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. A, B, and C are just like numbers. This could be number 2, this could be the number 3, this could be negative 5. Uh, that particular form is called general form. There's another form here, y equals A bracket x minus h squared plus k. You can get from this form to this form by completing the square, which you've done before. Um, this second form is called turning point form uh, and then this third form we don't use it a lot uh, but it is useful uh, it's called factor form you can see because it's in this sort of nice uh, factorized form um, okay so there are three ways to express a quadratic equation all three of them are useful in their own special ways all right that's really the anatomy of a quadratic graph. There is some more sort of um, conceptual stuff I need to talk through before we can really get started on, on getting stuck in.